hey guys it's justin welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be answering a question that i have gotten so often lately and that is why am i still doing ww obviously it's not working for you so sis it's time to switch it up clearly it is not working so why are you still trying to force ww down our throats when it's not even working for you all of that good stuff that um people love to leave in my comments so let me give you guys a little bit of backstory about two weeks ago i posted a weigh-in video it was my weigh-in number 18 i believe and in that video i really just put it all out there i kind of just exposed myself and i just kind of pretty much just let y'all know that i have been gaining weight for the last year and trust me i understand the curiosity i get why people are like okay well if that's not working then why are you still doing that so in this video I'm going to be addressing all of that so in case you may be new here to my channel welcome my name is Justin and I'm currently on a weight loss journey I have been following the WW aka Weight Watchers program for two years now and here on my channel I've been documenting that entire process so if you would like to stay tuned and keep up with me please make sure to hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey all right guys so before i completely get into it i did want to let you guys know that today's video was actually supposed to be something else it was supposed to be a weight loss vlog weight loss vlog number nine i believe and one thing about me filming my weight loss vlogs is because it's really like unplanned and just whenever i feel like filming i never really know what the final product is going to look like until it's done and um this morning I just kind of dumped all of my footage into my editing software and it was almost two hours long because I guess I've just had a lot to say this last month and it's been like a month worth of footage. So anyway, I was looking at it and I'm like, there is no way I am putting you guys through that. There's also no way I don't even feel like editing it. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna completely scrap it or I may go back and just try to superly, superly condense it. But one of the topics that I talked about about in that video was this why am I still doing WW and I feel like it's still super important and I still wanted to put that out so I just decided to make it its own video so without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and play the original clip that I already filmed be warned that I don't look anything like I look now because it was vlog style it was very realistic so yeah roll the clip hey guys it's me again Way in number 18 is out for the world to see. It's doing pretty well. Um, but I've had multiple people ask me something. And I was going to hop on my Insta stories to kind of like address it, I guess. But I was like, you know what? This will be great for the weight loss vlog. Okay, so people are basically asking me, in a nutshell, why am I still doing WW? Or people are saying, clearly... WW is not working for you. You need to try something different. Have you ever thought about going to something different? All kinds of stuff about that relating to me not doing well with WW. So here is my personal take on that. I feel, and let me just say that I can tell that I'm growing because I'm be being, how do I say this? I'm becoming less and less offended when people ask me stuff like this or say things like this. And I just have to realize that not everybody knows my full story. So I'm sure it looks, it appears like, well, obviously if you've been off track for a year, then you need to try something different. So the way I see it is I'm off track up here with my paintbrush. I'm off track in my, my mental. That's what's off track. It's not WW because honestly, like somebody said, you need to try keto for one. I've tried keto in the past, so I already know how that goes. For two, if I were to try keto today, it would literally be the same thing. The program isn't the issue. Someone also suggested um, fasting, same thing. I feel like the program itself, the way about how I'm going with my weight loss isn't the issue yes later on down the line if i am doing weight watchers and i have lost a good amount of weight and i'm like seriously at a standstill for a long amount of time and i'm just not progressing but i'm doing everything right in my power then at that point i would probably consider switching things up trying something new either trying a new another plan within ww so either green or purple or completely going to something else like keto or calorie counting or IF. But for right now, guys, I feel like I've 
stress this enough but I have to remember not everybody has seen the other videos but then me I also don't want to sound like super repetitive for the people who are watching all the videos the number one issue right now as to why I haven't been doing well is poor planning really really poor planning whenever I do plan I do well and I don't know this video won't be out for I don't know like a week week and a half or something so if y'all did watch the weigh in video that went up today I literally gave all of my weights from February up until now in late October and as I was going back and looking at all the dips like gaining 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 oop you lost a lot of weight gaining 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 oop you lost a lot of weight every time it dipped i remembered and i was like i planned i planned for that week i took the time to like get stuff together because guys when i don't plan i don't succeed and whenever i was doing well like my first year pretty much on ww it was because i really really prioritized planning now you may be wondering, okay, well, if that's the only reason, which is not the only reason, but I, I personally feel like it's the main reason. If that's the main reason, Justin, then why aren't you planning? Guys, to be blunt, like, I ain't shit. <laughs> I'm not like, I don't know how else to say it. I'm just, I'm a flawed person. I have some habits about myself that aren't good. I am lazy. I procrastinate the hell out of pretty much every single task in my life. I could go on about a whole bunch of other things, but those first two, that's where it at. I'm just, I'm not perfect. I wish I had some better excuse or something to say, and I could come up with a billion excuses, like my work schedule. Right now I'm going off of being up for over 24 hours. This got in the way, this got in the way. But when it all boils down to it, I remember whenever like I first started WW and I was prioritizing my planning and everything, I did not care. It didn't matter what was going on that week. I would still make a point to plan. I prioritized it because I knew that is what was the main thing driving me to be successful. So I can't really sit here and justify me being busy as an excuse for me not planning enough because honestly that should come first. So I don't know if any of that is making sense but yeah all that to say I don't really have feelings towards WW the program as oh it's not working for me I need to change it I need to no I don't feel that at all and I understand how it can appear that way to you guys and especially if you haven't been in my shoes before but the way I look at it I have found I found a lot of success with WW I genuinely feel like this is the first program that worked for me it makes sense to me I, I I just like it and this isn't some promo reel I'm not like I'm not getting paid to get to have people join Weight Watchers I'm just being honest I truly like the program it works for me right now what ain't working is up here and every time I see comments like that I'm just like okay but it would be the same thing with keto it would be the same thing with my fitness pal or whatever and i've actually had several comments asking me like have i thought about weight loss surgery someone told me that i need to consider getting gastric bypass and kind of just to sum my thoughts on that really quick i feel like weight loss surgery is a temporary fix it's kind of like yeah it'll help me out for now but i still feel like you still have to change your mindset with going through that because I just know if I went and got weight loss surgery tomorrow, and I know there's different kinds, but let's just say within a month, I like dropped 50 pounds. Because I haven't fixed what's up here, I'm just gonna gain that weight back. So it's kind of like, what's the point? And then another thing is that most people I've heard who have either gotten weight loss surgery or have tried to get it or whatever, most of the time, I don't know if it's an insurance thing or if it's the doctor, but usually before they can even get the surgery, they're required to lose a certain amount of weight. 
like I had a church friend who she got weight loss surgery but before she was allowed or like qualified to get it they required her she had to lose 50 pounds on her own first and she did that and I really remember how she did it. I think she was doing juicing and stuff. But honestly, I remember like seeing her after she lost the 50 pounds and she was telling me she was about to get weight loss surgery. And I was just thinking in my head like, well, if you could be motivated enough to drop 50 pounds for the weight loss surgery, then why not just keep going and lose all the weight? Cause she really didn't have that much weight left to lose. And I understand some people get weight loss surgery for other reasons if you have like medical things or whatever. But honestly, anytime I see questions or comments, concerns about weight loss surgery, I still feel today, even though I have gained a lot of my weight back even though yes I should feel defeated I 100% still believe that I can do this I don't know to me weight loss surgery isn't an option because I just know I could do it myself and there's no shades people who get the surgery I mean do it works for you but for me personally I just like know for a fact I, I don't know I just I have a very clear vision on that and I just know that's not the route or that's not a route that I'm gonna take to get to where I need to be. Cause as of right now, I still, even though I've been not doing the best, I still feel like my goals, my health goals, my physical goals, all of that is within my own reach, my own doing. I can do it to get there. I've done it before, I can do it again. <laughs> so yeah, this was a long clip talking about that. All right guys, so that's pretty much everything I needed to say in that clip. But just to piggyback off of it, honestly, to sum it all up, I truly feel like the program works when you work the program. And since I haven't been working the program, it hasn't been working for me. But I don't think that's a reason to fault the program. The same way with if I started calorie counting tomorrow, but just because I say I'm calorie counting, but I'm not actually counting all of my calories or I'm going over my calories, caloric budget whatever um I can't fault and say that calorie counting doesn't work for me because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing it's all up here guys and the way I think about it I feel like once this is right up here WW will be there and I know it works I've done it before I love the program I love everything really and I personally feel like WW is more than just a weight loss program is more than just tracking your points like this last month I started by going to my physical in-house workshop meetings and it's just been so good for me to be able to see familiar faces to be able to just have that kind of social interaction to be able to be in like what I call AA for weight loss a safe place to just talk about you know similar things that we're all facing I wouldn't really get that with any other program and so having the community that's a big thing for me I understand not everybody is here for that but for me that's a big thing having the extreme community and sense of camaraderie and support and strength that means a lot to me and that's part of the reason why even though I may not necessarily be tracking everything and be following all the WW rules if you want to call it that that's why I am still on WW. Another thing that I wanted to say is I know I said that planning was my number one reason for why I haven't been able to get on track which I do definitely still agree with but but another thing I will say is that because I've been off track for such a long time, literally now I've been off track more than I was on track. Because of that, I really like my all of the habits that I formed, all the good habits that I was doing, I've pretty much reversed that. And that's unfortunate, but I'm finding it now I'm having a really, really hard time to make good habitual choices one of which just to give you guys an example is cooking my own meals like making my own food in the kitchen I'm the type now I've just made it such a habit that anytime I'm hungry my first response the first thing I want to do is to get in my car and go get something to eat fast food even though I literally have a fridge and a pantry full of groceries, it's still like natural for me to go get fast food and it is annoying for me to have to like decide to stay here and make myself something to eat. That may be hard for people to relate, but I've really been struggling with, no Justin, you are not, no, we're not going out to eat fast food. You have to stay here and you have to fix your own food. Like I have to grow to learn to like being in the kitchen again because honestly that's not really 
something I like doing. But that's just like one example. I know from experience that things can be really, really hard in the beginning, but the more and more you do and, you know, practice makes perfect. The more you do something, you kind of just get used to it. And me trying to get back used to it and being consistent enough to get back used to it, that's where I'm finding a lot of challenging things. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about that. Hopefully everything I just said makes sense. I know it was a lot, but I did also wanna say that I understand people's curiosity. I understand and I'm not upset with anybody. This is just my response to it to let you guys know why I'm still doing what I'm doing. And I get that people have such little faith in me, but you know what, I'm starting to find comfort and I almost kind of like feeling like the underdog and knowing that people are sleeping on me because I just cannot wait. Cause sis, like I said, once this is right up here, I'm gonna be unstoppable. Like I know that for a fact. I just gotta get, you know, get some things right. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. For today's comment of the day, I guess y'all just let me know down below in the comments what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? I'm sure y'all gonna tell me anyway. We can have a whole conversation in the comments. Maybe it can inspire some other people as well. But as always, I love you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on this journey and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.